when the weather is not the greatest in the world, we go indoors. Let me stop it right there for a minute. I was indoors shooting inside the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception in Washington, D.C. And I couldn't speak very loud, so I apologize for having to whisper. But I want to take a few moments to go over some stuff that I wasn't able to say inside the Basilica. If you are a professional photographer, or you want to be a professional photographer, or you just want to add stuff to your portfolio, if you can find a cathedral, a chapel, a basilica such as this in a nearby big city, it will do wonders for you. One reason is they're always kept up nice. Uh, they have great lines of symmetry. It's always clean, which you, you're going to have a problem trying to find shooting some commercial properties, houses, that type thing. The views inside these places are just mesmerizing. And it gives you an opportunity to also test your own skills as far as when you shoot real estate or commercial, a lot of times you're trying to make sure your verticals are vertical just like on landscapes and in sports you're trying to make sure your horizontals are horizontal and so you get to really test what you can do now this particular basilica I could not use tripods I had to hand hold uh, the entire time and you'll see that in some of the footage that's coming up so it would take me a while to, to line up the camera get it square on the frame I had the grid lines marked in the camera so I could find the center points on the top and bottom to make it work. And then I would check my verticals from there. But shots out of somewhere like this, especially if you like shooting, if you like clicking that shutter button, where landscapes don't always you know, offer you tons and tons of shots. If, if you go on a three day weekend and you come away with six really good shots, you've done beyond what most people can get. Inside a place like this, you can come away with 40 or 50 portfolio worthy shots in just a couple of hours. You have low light, so you have to balance your ISO and your shutter speed. And depending on what you're trying to shoot, of course, you're going to mess with your f-stops because of the depth of field that type thing uh, some of the images for instance when I shot the domes which is one of my favorite things to do is to square up underneath the dome and get a straight-up picture of the dome um, I was shooting 1 50th of a second uh, f 3.5 and um, ISO 4000 I shot ISO 4000 pretty much in the whole church other than in the crypt church which is a much darker location. It's almost it's got a really good gothic feel to it, and then I, I bumped the ISO up a little bit more there, um, so that I can make that image those images work. But you seriously, if you're trying to build something for your portfolio, trying to become a better photographer, whether professionally or as a you know recreational hobby photographer shooting something like a chapel, a basilica, a cathedral, it's going to do wonders for your confidence, uh, for your social media views, uh, even some of these online contests. Uh, it, it's just, it's what you need to try to do is get into one of these places and get some shots. But make sure you obey the rules. For instance, like I said, this one had no tripods. Um, the Basilica in St. Louis, you can use a tripod. Um, so they'll let you know the rules because you won't be the first one going in to photograph. And also, 
I want to thank you for viewing these videos. Um, I'm trying to get better with them as many of the different photographers that are running these types of vlogs are. So any comments that you make is much appreciated. Uh, for instance, recently there was a comment on the video of the Everglades that was it a driving video or was it a landscape photography on location video and so even right now I'm not driving I may be in the truck but I needed to share these couple minutes with you but if you keep watching through you're gonna see a lot of still images because a cathedral is gonna offer a lot and you're gonna see uh, me moving around in there you'll you'll see what I'm doing be respectful of others uh, it is a place of worship but for now let's get back to the video idea of how large this place is. extremely ornate and sometimes if you angle the camera you're going to lose your your vertical lines but you get the ornate ceilings as well as the murals on the walls and it makes a better uh, photograph Construction you see is for the Trinity Dome, which will be finished up this year. And there's an encompass up above here. And it's going to be much greater than what we've got, even in this part.
some several clips here. Um, just an amazing collection of religious artifacts. And uh, again, this is the largest cathedral in the United States. Um, I shot the main cathedral, but one of the places I really want to shoot is what is called the crypt. And you'll see it here shortly. They were having mass, so I don't want to interrupt that. Hey, do you want to see more great content? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out these other videos. Thanks for watching.